The next video I'm gonna do here, it's about uh, scoring. And I was asked this question, say, okay, well, a lot of people put track athletes will will be on the track for a while, and they never know how to really put on the spikes. So today I'm making this video to show you how to put on your spike on your track shoes. Uh, it's very simple. I'm gonna start with telling you, okay, this is the Nike Superfly Elite, and it comes with eight holes, and any holes, eight spikes per shoes. So you see the most important thing about it uh, so some school will use drills and then they they'll speed up the process but if you don't it yourself make sure if you get your spike make sure you put it on yourself i've always said every athlete have to learn or at least put on the spikes on the shoes by yourself and even when you go to the track meet never forget this because sometimes they come on loose or sometimes you lose one and you want to replace it and you don't have this with you and you're in trouble this and then the bottom of the shoes end up uneven because you're missing one spike so this is how you put on your spikes on the shoes that way they don't come off while you um running or while you um uh you know warming up before your race because chances are they might come off if you don't put them in properly this is the proper way to put them in to make sure your spike don't come off and note even after you put them in properly, always make sure uh, that you check them before you leave home for your race, and then um, and then you could be good for that race. Um, then that's that's pretty much it. So, anyways, this is how you do it. You take the spike, right? You start by um, putting it into the. Uh, uh, onto the shoes, you know, the little latch here, you put it in by hand. And when you put it in by hand, it's very important to make sure it's even. That's why it's important for you to put it in by hand so you can feel it. Because if you do it by machine, it might end up being uneven, and then you're going to end up messing up the track inside of, of uh, if you mess up the track inside of here, the shoes is done. Okay, you cannot put it in another one. You have to pretty much like super glue it in there or weld it but you, it's done. So that's why it's very important when you put on your, uh, your spike uh, and the shoes, make sure the first time you do it, that you do it right. So do it by hands. No matter what, just do it by hands. After that, you could use uh, you could use this, you know, to, or if you, if you wanna use a drill, you could use a drill. But the first time you put this in, make sure you do it by hand. I mean, I didn't mean to repeat myself, but that's, that's, that's the number one thing. That's the key of this video. <laughs> So basically, you start, you put it in, and it you feel it. Cause if it's by hand, you can feel it. You're not gonna be, it's not gonna be uneven. Cause if it's uneven, if it's crooked, if you if you put it into the machine or whatnot, and then it's like this, and then you force it in, you know your track is done. <laughs> okay, your track shoes is finished. So make sure you put it by hand. That way you can feel it falling into that little space that is designed for. And once you do this, I'm going to four right now, right? This is in there. And then you do the other one, uh, doing three, because I'm doing three at a time, four at a time. Uh, and then do the last one, the fourth one. And then, and then after, I'm going to show you one more thing after this, which is important also. When you square by heads, they have to be flush against the, uh, the bottom of the shoes see they're pretty much flush which means you look like the shoes are ready to go uh like your your tr your spikes are all set and they're ready to go but you're not you're not ready yet you have to use the wrench however you feel comfortable however you feel you feel like okay well this is where you, you get your strength whether you left hand or right hand however you feel comfortable that you can put some a uh, real elbow into it uh, you use that to Put the wrench in. It's not an important part. When you put the wrench in there, uh, make sure it it's at the night. It's very. It's all the way up there. Okay, that's another thing too. You don't want to put the wrench like this and force it. Then you might uh, you might a uh, mess up this, which can be some kind of problem because you're gonna have to get another one, or you might mess up this, which is another problem too. Then it's gonna be hard to take it off if if you have to take it off. Uh, so when you put it in the first time make sure this is all the way up okay and kind of like shake it make sure it's latched in and you spin it counter clock you, you, you spin it you know and once you spin it 
see, this is not important, but as you spin in the, uh, this, it's not just, we don't hold the spikes there, like this, so that might be, it might sp split, sp uh, slip off your hand, so it's two motion, you pushing this into that, and then you pushing the spike down, and then you spin it, okay, it's two things, I see, I'm doing two things here, watch, I'm doing the second one to show you again, I'm pushing uh, the wrench, okay, against the shoes, it doesn't matter what how how I do it, and then I'm pushing the spike against the wrench, okay, and then I'm turning the wrench against the spike. As I'm turning the wrench this way, it's like this. It's kind of like this. It's like it's pushing. It's kind of like this, okay. What's the motion here? So let's do it again, and then I'm gonna go ahead and spin it. This is good. See, spiking, pushing that. Pushing that against this, pushing this against that, and then spinning this this way, okay? And that's the easiest and best way to do it. And, you know, put some little effort into it, uh, whatnot. But if you, you know, younger athlete, or if you, like, you know, you're not, not that much upper body strength, it's okay. You can ask for help if you want to, but make sure. And then once you do all this, Okay, I'm, I'm going to stick with four. I'm going to put the rest of them on later on after the video. Once you do this, and then you go take your, 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 your shoes to training, to practice. Remember, it's always important to make sure you never lose this, okay? You never lose it. They used to have a little loop where athletes could put in like, uh, put them on the, on the bag and they could just like, but they don't come with that loop anymore. I don't know why. But this is something you never lose because you're gonna need it. Because you always think, okay, before training or before a race, you can always use it to check to make sure everything are on point. Because if you check it before every race or before every training, you're not gonna lose any spikes. Okay, um, so this is a big deal. So this is it.